<laughs> what do I draw? Wide open, it's the ocean. I'm just imposing that you give it to me and just me only. Hey yo, what's up? My name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel where I do whatever the f I want. I do whatever I want, whenever I want. I love it. <laughs> so I'm about to get blasted. I'm gonna have these two very strong. And I'm just gonna paint and and hang out with you guys, talk some personal stuff. This is probably a bad idea because I have something to do at two and it's one. But f it. We'll talk um, about some things that we should talk about. We gotta talk about. These are really good. So my friend Perry gave me this idea to take edibles and paint. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna paint. I'm not good at painting. Um, I painted this. This is pretty cute. But I also copied it off someone. It's not an original idea. And I feel like we just have to catch up, you know? Like, I feel like as friends, we need to catch up. I feel like there's a lot... That you guys don't know. This is my canvas. I'm gonna paint on my bed. I feel like that makes things more interesting. <laughs> if I spill paint on my bed, then I don't know. It'll be like a fun little experience. I don't even know what the f I wanna paint. I wanna paint something like symbolic, like a naked body. No, I always paint a naked body. I don't know what to paint. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna say fuck it and I'm just gonna paint however I feel. I asked you guys questions to ask me Do you want to start a family in the future? Honestly, just thinking about it kind of stresses me out. But like right now, I don't really want to um, because I'm mentally not prepared for that. A lot of people that I went to high school with though are like having children my age and it's really weird. But you know what? Everyone has different stages in their life and if those people are ready to have kids, then that's good for them. I'm happy for them. I feel like I'm still a child myself. And plus, I feel like I don't have patience for children. Like, I really don't think I have patience to, like, own a child. Own a child? To have a child? But I am really good with kids. What's your favorite position? What, like, having Honestly, I, this might sound boring, but I really like missionary. Girl, shut the up. I ain't gotta explain shit to you. I honestly do. Missionary is really fun. I'm the type of... I like... Okay, this is gonna sound really weird. I love giving girlfriend type like even if i'm not dating that person i like to have passionate good enjoyable it's not like oh let's just get this over with i like to have like passionate like but besides missionary doggy doggy yeah but i mean who doesn't like doggy oh i knew something like that was gonna happen but i didn't think it was gonna happen right away but i'm also a very experimental person so i do like to try like new things i feel like i'm making a mess already why did you and your hondra fall out it wasn't like a fallout it was just kind of like growing apart i kind of outgrow people i feel like me and your hondra we we have very similar goals but when it comes to the type of people that we are i feel like we clash in a lot of areas i wish the best for her and i love her and i'm i support her no matter what and i know that that is reciprocated but that's just how life is sometimes bro like you grow up and and that's okay hell yeah so i'm mixing a bunch of different colors together because i honestly have no idea what i want to do why do i have white when the canvas is literally white but whatever if you could give advice to yourself five years ago what would you say i would honestly tell her how old was i fifth 14. I would tell her to stop growing up so chop stop trying to grow up so quick because I feel like when I was 14 Maybe blue where's black. I feel like when I was 14. I was kind of In a rush to grow up do grown-up things And I just wish I could tell myself to like slow down enjoy the fact that you're 14 enjoy the fact that you have no responsibilities Because it's hard out here. It really is. I would also tell her to be more true to herself because was a follower she was a following ass bitch okay i want everyone to pray for me right now oh i need water the, f the edible's kind of kicking in feeling a little woozy what was i saying though when were you at your lowest and no one knew honestly i think i was at my lowest when i was in the relationship that i was recently in i was at a pretty low point i don't think i've ever been like super depressed but i have been at some low points i typically try to like talk myself out of them like if i'm at a low point i'll tell myself like yo i just kind of have to like remind myself like yo get the up do something so that you don't get depressed like i've never let myself get to the point where i'm like depression you know what i mean i'm trying to make a yin yang reminder that i don't know how to paint okay are you thinking about moving out i think about moving out every day of my life but it's a scary thought <laughs> like it really is so i am being a little smarter when it comes to that but yeah i think about moving out every day of my life ever dated a friend's boyfriend or have cheated okay i don't know if you guys i've never dated a friend's boyfriend did i what they weren't close friends it was also like <laughs> Like she was a bitch, you know? Like she was a bitch. So I feel like she deserved it. This is my yin yang so far. <laughs> I don't. Dude, I'm so bad. No, girl, what is that? Have you ate today? No. Thanks for reminding me though. Sometimes I forget. Why did you break up with your ex? Um, sometimes it's weird because like sometimes I blame myself for the reason that we broke up because I actually really did love him a lot. Like that was the first, my first love and like first real 
relationship if that makes sense and by relationship i mean in every aspect like literally in every aspect i'm a very relationship type of person i made it pink so i really did i really did enjoy that time with him but i just feel like he had a lot of bad habits that i wasn't a fan of i kept telling myself like oh it's it, like if i give him time it'll just change it'll go away and you can't really think like that i don't know why i'm such a i can change you type of bitch i tend to go for assholes because of that and i tend to ignore the actual nice guys and friends on them so that's my problem. Um, I like assholes. But there is times when I like think that it's my fault because I feel like I can be crazy as well. I don't think I am crazy, but I think I can be given the right opportunity. And plus, if you're crazy, t I, I just can't date, I can't date anyone that's crazy because I'm already kind of crazy. I need like someone stable. Because if you yell at me, I'm going to yell at you. Have you thought about your ex recently? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's normal, right? Someone tell me it's normal, please. Like situations that I shouldn't be thinking about him. Like when you're used to, I don't know. Okay, anyway, <laughs> this is my this is how it's going. When it comes to online dating, should you pursue it? Um. Whoa! Oh my god, my white and my blue mixed together. You see it? It's really hard to like meet people nowadays, and I've met some cool people on dating websites. I haven't like met up with them like in person. Online dating, I feel like is cool. You just have to be careful. You know, you have to know how to do it. Um, you have to be safe. Yeah, but I, I honestly think online dating is clutch. Because it's hard to meet people nowadays. How are you so passionate about everything? What do you mean? I don't know. I'm just passionate about what I'm passionate about. I'm not passionate about everything. Like, there's some things that I genuinely don't give a fuck about. But then there's things that I'm really passionate about. And I, I'm vocal about them. And I feel like everyone should be vocal about their passions. That's kind of what makes us stand out from each other. That was deep as hell. That never came out of my mouth. That was deep as fuck. Can you show us a scandalous pig? I don't have any scandalous pics. What is one thing you learned from your past relationship? The biggest thing I learned from my past relationship is that um, I need to stop letting go of myself when I'm in a relationship. I feel like I let go of myself and who I am as a person. I let go of all those things when I dedicate myself to someone and I feel like that's that's f***ed up. What do I do with this? And it's happened to me so often. Like I always just like let go of who I am as a person when I'm with someone. What the f***? literally i have no idea what's going on right now you start adjusting to the kind of person that your partner is and you can lose yourself in that in that aspect that's why they say that like you shouldn't have sex with too many people because your soul stays connected to them and that's that's very true that's why you keep so many tendencies from past relationships wow i'm high i'm high bro um but speaking of soul ties is such a great thing like this is amazing dude there's a reason it's so good like this is a powerful thing it's literally how we bring life into this world literally what is this this is great but you have to be careful with who you do it with because soul ties is definitely a thing the energy of the people that you have those type of relationships with is gonna stay with you it stays with you i think for like like months i don't know but it stays with you and you don't know and then you don't know who that person did what with and also you know what just safety in general how often do you shave? I personally, I can't not shave. I need to feel bald. Hair's normal, you know, a lot of people, it really matters. It's really up to preference. When was the last time you felt truly appreciated? That question is deep. Wow, I can't believe you just said that. Honestly, honestly, the last time I felt really appreciated was my relationship before the one I just had. I felt very appreciated in that relationship yeah you know why why i ended it because <laughs> he was a nice guy bro <laughs> like there's nobody that that love that could love me more than this like there's nobody that could love me more than this man does like that's crazy but the heart wants what it wants <laughs> what age did you lose your virginity and at what age do you think is a good age to lose it um 18 i lost my virgin no 18 19 i don't remember i think i was 19 <gasps> oh Losing your virginity is really up to you. I don't think that like 13 year olds should be out here f that. It depends what your maturity level is at and if you really think that you're ready for it. Well, I wanted to when I was like 15. Like I was thinking about that kind of stuff. I wasn't ready like mentally, but I was like thinking about that kind of stuff. I was like, oh my God, like <laughs> what am I gonna do it? When is it gonna happen? But I didn't actually want to do it because I was scared. And just that little thought of like being scared is enough to know that like okay i'm not ready if i'm scared then i'm not ready at 19 is when i lost it and i knew i was ready i was i literally was like okay yeah okay yeah 
But yeah, I'm trying to do this right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm like flying right now. <laughs> do you think sexting is hot or cringy? It depends how it, how it plays out. If it's my idea, I like it. If it's the guy's idea, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I also... Mm, I also don't... <laughs> Sometimes it can be cringy, bro. Like, sometimes it really can be like, ooh. Dude, okay. No, I don't even know if I want to talk about this. One time I was talking to this guy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm kind of on the verge of, like, being a thought. I was in a relationship already. I did the whole relationship thing. I had a baby. I have some back. I had a baby, you know. I did the mother thing. I did the wife oh, yeah, thing. All that, yeah. I did that whole thing. And it was fun, you know? I, I realized that I'm a very relationship type of girl. Like, I love being in love. I really do. And just being with that one person and them being all about you. I love that. But I think it's time for me to let the fuck go of that. And be a thought. I really want to be a thought. I haven't been a thought. In my 21 years of existence, I've been a good girl. Always been the type to get in a relationship and, like, fall in love. I was always the friend that was in a relationship. So, you know what? I think it's time that I just be a whore. Oh my god, are you guys painting with me? Because that would be cute. <laughs> it's so ugly! So the story I was saying though, I was talking to this guy. This was right after um, my breakup, like recently. What do you think is like the right time to get over a breakup and like start with someone new? Because if I broke up with my ex in February and I started something in like March. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding at all. So after my relationship ended, I... It was a year-long relationship, bro. Like I was... I was tired. When you get out of a relationship like that, it's kind of weird to just like not be in one anymore because you're used to just like being with that person all the time and you're also used to constant s So it was like a shock to me <laughs> to not have that anymore. So I started talking to a few guys, whatever. I didn't like, I wasn't feeling any of them. I was literally just doing it to like entertain myself. It worked. I, I played with a few people's feelings. I'm really sorry. My bad. Like it's hideous. Like what is happening right now? I don't know. <laughs> I just painted all over myself <laughs> I was going through it with my breakup Started talking to a bunch of guys And then there was this one guy I was talking to Who um, we Oh my god Mom don't watch this Nobody in my family watch this please It somehow got into the, like, the sexual conversation I honestly I, I literally just do it for fun Like I literally just like to fuck with guys for fun Like just mess with their feelings his big, like really big. This is awkward. Why do I feel like it's awkward now? It shouldn't be awkward. Y'all are my friends. Um, he had a really big I'm talking nine inch shit. So that one thing had me like blind. I was like, oh my god, there's no way. Until this man, bro, this man. I was vibing with him physically, I was vibing with him mentally, he was funny. But this motherfucker, you know what he did? You know what he did? He cut a mango weird on FaceTime. He, we were on FaceTime having great conversation and he cut a mango weird. Like he was just struggling with the mango and he looked so stupid. This, uh, damn, I sound like a, I sound like a bully. If y'all would have seen it, bro, y'all should have seen what was going on. And then he was just only wearing like one sock and I could just see the whole thing on FaceTime and I was just sitting there like, I miss my ex. <laughs> Nah, bro, cause you get used to someone and then you meet some other person and they're like, whack. But that was the first time that happened and that was cause I just, I had just gotten out of the relationship, so that's why. Wait, what were we even talking about? Oh, is sexting cringe? Yeah, <laughs> it is. But at the same time, no, if I'm into it. I can't be with anyone physically if I don't like them on a mental level. Like, I need to be able to click with you. We need to be able to have a conversation that I enjoy for me to be able to want to with you what's the weirdest thing men do that gets you turned on what do i do to this like i don't know it this looks like a kindergartner drew it and i don't know what to do the weirdest thing men do that turns me on i really like for some reason when men i like when men are puerto rican <laughs> no that's a bad answer but it's true i really like when when like men can't keep their hands to themselves that sounds bad though as a woman I just like, okay, if you li if I like the guy, like I like when he's touchy, I just like, 
anyway how do you feel about kissing in public i don't care about kissing in public dude like i at this point i literally do not know like i don't know what is this okay who's your crush i don't really have a crush right now i'm kind of crushing on everyone that's what i mean by like i'm i'm ready to be a thought because like usually i'm just talking to one person and i just like one person but right now i'm kind of crushing on everybody who's the last person you said i love you to um amira my best friend would you want to move out of miami the only place i'd move out of miami to is dominican republic i'm high <laughs> y'all what the fuck i'm supposed to do with this like what do i do to it how often do you pet your kitty that i'm a very person like i feel like my i know you guys are gonna hate me for this but like i'm a taurus sun and a scorpio moon so like i'm constantly just it kind of sucks like it's not the best feeling ever i feel like women get shamed for their sexual tendencies. <laughs> oh my god, I look like a whale. <laughs> what do I draw? Oh my. When did you know you wanted to make a change as in start to work on yourself? When I let myself go. I let myself really go. Like I let myself go far when I got into my recent relationship. I'm sorry I'm talking so much about my recent relationship. It was pretty fucking traumatizing. I wasn't doing any of the things I loved. I wasn't going to the gym. I wasn't working out. It was kind of also like just with the pandemic, it was a lot. I was kind of just like stuck with someone for a year. It just felt like a very entrapped relationship. Like I felt like I felt like I couldn't be like myself outside of that relationship. And whenever I tried to be myself around like him or around the relationship, I'd kind of get like shut down and like I don't know how to explain it. Realizing that I could lose myself so easily made me want to work very hard to keep myself and work on myself. Could you ever be into girls? I was bi. I don't want to say that I'm straight right now. Just because like, I'm a down ass bitch though, like that's not really, I wouldn't consider myself bi. I think I would just say, I don't want to label myself as anything at all. Um, I th It makes me kind of uncomfortable to be like, oh yeah, I'm bi or like, oh yeah, I'm straight. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't like thinking about it. I love um, I like, I love girls. Girls are amazing people. I would say, I'm not gonna label myself, and I don't want anyone to label me, but I would say that the closest thing that I feel like defines kind of how I feel is like pansexual, but I, I, I don't want to label myself that, and I don't want to label myself anything, so just take with that what you will. I have a weak spot in my heart for girls with brown eyes and curly hair. I don't know why. Are you happy? <laughs> And if so, how long did it take for you to reach? I think I'm at the happiest I've been, but I'm having a lot of, like, issues. So, like, I'm happy, like, I'm mentally I'm the happiest I've been, but then life is really throwing shit at me right now. Like, my car just broke yesterday, and it won't be ready for, like, a week or two. And that's privilege right there, bro. I'm grateful as f Do you see what's going on in Cuba right now? These people are fighting for the freedom and they're gonna get it and i'm here complaining about my car that broke down that shouldn't have broken down because it's new yes i am happy you got to be happy and appreciate the things that you do have because it's literally insane what a lot of people don't have compared to you about the littlest details too like like the fact that i could go in my fridge and eat right now anyway what do i draw should i do like a butterfly i'm gonna draw an ass I've seen your fitness growth and I like motivation. How do you find the drive to work out? Like, there's not a secret formula to like motivation. You just have to get the fuck up and do it and know that you're doing it for for yourself. If you want to put in the time for yourself, then do it. If you don't, then damn. So like you can lose motivation at any point. I've lost motivation, but I still get the fuck up and go. And that's where discipline and motivation come together. Something that's on your mind always. I have a lot on my mind all the time. It's hard to like pinpoint one thing. I try to like think of one thing and like a million things just popped in my head and it um I think about a lot of things. Oh, this is a great question. What happened to your father? Sorry if I'm invading. I wanted to make a TikTok about this, so I'll just talk about it with you guys. I was thinking about that, how like girls who who don't have a dad who just like walked out on them, how they have like daddy issues and that's like a thing, it's like an ongoing joke. My father was, was very present. He was legitimately my best friend. Like funniest person I knew, like that man was hilarious. And he was my best friend. What is happening in this painting? Okay, so you know how like girls who grew up with their dad are like known to have really high standards and like they want their, their, their boyfriend to be like their dad, whatever. And then girls who didn't grow up with a dad, they're, they have daddy issues. That's the ongoing joke that like girls that didn't have a present dad have daddy issues. But what about the girls that like lost their dad? 
because my dad was great. So what does that make me? I always joke about having like daddy issues too, which like kinda. What does that make me? I don't know what it makes me. Those girls that have daddy issues, they apparently like like they look for that in men and they like like toxic stuff. I like toxic stuff. Do I have daddy issues? <laughs> I don't know. But then at the same time, I have high standards because the when I did have a daddy, was great. Oh, fuck. I don't know, bro. But to answer your question, I lost my dad in a car crash when I was younger. I don't know what this is. Like, I don't... I have no clue what the fuck this is. Like, this is pretty much how I feel. Oh, my God. Is that, like, my art? Like, I feel peace, but then I'm, like, lost. <laughs> Next question. Dude, I'm high. Like, I'm, like, skimming through topics like it's my job. Would you ever take any of your exes back? There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay, so this is my painting. <laughs> I feel like it says a lot about me as a person. Like, I knew, like... <laughs> I feel like I had a vision. And then it just kind of... I don't know what happened to it. I mean, I feel like it's cute, though. Like, I feel like it makes sense. Art is up to interpretation. It looks kind of cool, right? Me trying to justify that my painting looks good for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Please tell me it looks good. I don't know if we should keep talking about my feelings, though. Do you talk to any YouTube guys like that? No. Um, and I've also never met anyone that I would be my type on social media. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Okay, I love you, and I'll see you whenever I see you. Bye. I do whatever I want, whenever I want, I love it. People keep talking, I just keep winning.